as we do celebrate our 75th anniversary as Utah's first TV station, we go back 84 years ago when thousands of Utahns were amazed with weeks of closed circuit live TV shows at a department store. Craig Worth has the amazing pictures and stories of those 1939 TV programs. A man named Sid Fox had to be one of Utah's most colorful promoters in the 1930s and 40s. He owned a radio station. He threw lavish parties and hung around with stars. Oh, and he smoked expensive cigars. He also hired a photographer to follow him day and night, his own paparazzi, and even saying goodbye to the radio station bowling team. You gotta love his promotions for his radio station. He once buried a live person and had crowds parade past a wooden shaft to see her, of course, as she listened to his radio station. He was Utah's P.T. Barnum, but television, that was his ultimate promotion. Yes, TV, a brand new invention. Oh, that would be swell. By 1939, there were traveling TV tent shows. Wow, they were packing them in, like electronic traveling medicine shows. The biggest was from RCA at the New York World's Fair. Sid joined the crowds. Oh, this could be the greatest promotion ever. Sid owners in metropolitan New York enjoy the novel experience of receiving pictures through the air. Well, Sid simply had the whole RCA kit and caboodle hauled to Utah, yes, in 1939. Of course, he billed it as the modern miracle of science. He posted circus-type bills. You've heard about television. You've talked about television. Now it's here. It's today's magic word, the miracle of science. The 1939 newspapers proclaimed, swaddling radio gets its eyes open. Oh, Sid was at work. He got the old Paris department store to use as his stage. This was his circus. Thousands pushed their way into the store. Yes, come see the greatest achievement of the 20th century. He had three TV sets. Come on, keep on moving. More crowds waited for hours for a glimpse of Sid Fox's show. The headlines were perfect television show amazes crowds of Salt Lakers. First public show attracts thousands. Could you imagine the sight of thousand people here on Third South, all waiting to get into the Paris, the Paris department store behind me to see the modern miracle of science television. Yes, this was 1939, and he put on a week's worth of shows on those three sets a full week of programming that people could crowd in to see. He put out the world's first TV guide. He started with a newscast. Oh, he brought in a live orchestra and a group of dancers. One was a young girl, Lloyd Drexel. She danced on the second floor while crowds watched on the first floor. It was just remarkable and people were standing around this one little set that was would um, get static once in a while and once in a while you'd see a picture just in awe that wow that's from clear upstairs in this building and utah had one of the first examples of tv ever the set featured a small screen and a mirror that reflected the picture we thought if we could run fast enough we'd see ourselves downstairs on the monitor don't miss the thrill of television calling all redheads and twins be on tv oh my goodness he crammed in more programming every possible program. The papers were filled with daily reports of shows. People wanted TV. Well, we had programs and a program director and a camera and three sets. All Sid Fox was missing was a TV station in 1939. There was no doubt. He would have a TV station, our station today, as soon as he could. Craig Worth, ABC 4 News.